Okay, now having a look at this code here, I'm not sure how familiar you are with HTML code, but, but uh, please don't panic. What we're doing is we're looking at this file here, um, which is uh, being displayed in a web browser. And as you can see, that's this locally saved demo index HTML file here. And in my text editor, I've opened it up. And as you can see up here, it's exactly the same file. So we should be able to you know, compare what we see here in the HTML code with what we see um, in the web browser. And what we do see is this title. And we can use this, these uh, features here to just orientate uh, ourselves through the, um, through the code. We want to see what, what's done um, and, and we're also particularly interested in, you know, what's happening when we actually click this. Um, there's a slight hover effect there, as you can see. Okay, so, so back to the, the text file. Um, and now in an in a HTML document, you'll see there are actually a number of major sections. Um, there's the HTML object, which uh, starts with this tag and ends with that, that tag. Um, and then there's basically two sections underneath that. There's the head section and the body section. Most of the time, you'll be working in the body section. The head section, which is not to be uh, confused with a, 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 a page header, um, contains this kind of stuff. It contains the title, um, which is not the title that's displayed on the page. That's not, um, that's not this title, but it is in fact that title up there, as you can see right there in the, um, in the tab. Okay, so, so that's in the head. And what, what we find in the head is actually uh, a link to two files, the elevator.js file, which is what I was looking for, um, and then also a style sheet. Now we probably don't need this style sheet, so I'm going to start by just using the elevator.js file. Um, now th that's, that's where the bulk of the code actually sits, and we don't really need to look at it. We can if we like, but we don't need to look at it. Um, and then now let's have a look in the body. Um, we want to find out what happens when we click that button. We need to find where that button is. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm looking for text that matches this here. Oh, this back to top here. Okay. Where is that? Oh, that's a class back to top. Where's the text? Oh, this is it here, back to top. So this is this this bit here is actually what we're clicking. It looks a bit complicated here because it's used because the author's using an SVG file. Um, but let's not worry about that too much. We don't need this level of complexity, and I'll show you that in a minute. All we need is a div with a class elevator, uh, and then a closing div tag there. Now if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that this class is different from what we were told in the, um, in the instructions here. The class was elevator button, elevator button. So there's a disparity between the example downloaded file and the documentation, and that's often the case because the author will, you know, develop um, the, demonst the demonstration file and then and then write the documentation, and there might be some changes there. Um, but this is often the case, um, and uh, in, in these kinds of repositories, and, and and that explains why people sometimes run into problems. Okay, so effectively, then what we need is this div in the text of the page. And you can see that it's down the bottom there somewhere. And then there's also this script, which is what we were expecting as well. That looks very similar to what we saw in the instructions here. Um, here. And I'm, I'm, I'm particularly interested in the links to the audio. So there they are. And this should correspond with um, the, um, the file structure on my hard disk. So here we are, music, ding, elevator music, that should correspond there. And, and that's the, the, the next gotcha. 
So because in the instructions, um, he's used a more generic path and file name there. So there's lots of things to, to, to just sort of, you know, bear in mind when you, uh, when you download um, from this kind of repository. You need to know what you're doing. But once you do know what you're doing, you can figure it out pretty easily. Okay, so in summary then, we need this HTML code in our page. We need this script somewhere, also on our page. Let's just see where that was. He put that just before the end of the body tag, um, which makes sense because often scripts need to be loaded more or less last on the page. And a page loads from top to bottom, so putting that script near the bottom of the page makes sense. And we'll talk about how we're going to do that. Um, so we need the script here. We need the HTML element, but not as complex as this. Just basically like that. Um, and then we also need the JavaScript file to be referenced in the header tag. So that's up here, that one there. So we need that as well. So it's those three elements that we need um, on our web page. Okay, let's have a look at how we do that.